and welcome back. If you are new, thank you, thank you, thank you for deciding to click on this video to watch it. I am excited to see that you are viewing this video and while you're here, you should definitely click that subscribe button, like this video, and join the tribe. As you can tell from the title, today is going to be about pregnancy update weeks 33 through 35. So let's jump right on into today's video. During week 33, I took a long walk, a long, long walk down a heartburn alley. Why? <laughs> I experienced heartburn during week 33 and man, it only hit at night when I'm getting ready to try to fall asleep. <laughs> Yes, so I experienced heartburn and I mean the only thing that I did was allow it to pass I would you know try to sit up for a little bit and drink some water and stuff like that, but Honestly, I just let it pass it It was it was rough but I Kept reminding myself that this too shall pass <laughs> This too shall pass so that's what pretty much took place in week 33 for me that I documented because I was like, oh, listen, mm, heartburn, never experienced this one. Got to definitely make sure I document this. During week 34, oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, I am still so excited about this, about hearing this, about seeing the ultrasound. Oh, I I'm just gonna insert a clip. I'm gonna insert a clip. So, I don't know how well you can see us right now. Say hi, Zuri. Hi, mommy. <laughs> hi. Say hi. Hi. So we are here. I just finished crying. Like I'm so, so, so happy and filled with joy. Ecstatic baby is doing amazing, and she is growing so. Dad is a so, so, so well. Oh my gosh. So, like I said, we're here at my appointment. I am currently 34 weeks. And yes, I just got news from the ultrasound tech that my baby girl, number two, because that's my number one. I am the Zaza. You, you saw Zaza? She's five pounds. Oh my gosh, that is. So great that is so amazing like I can't believe it I'm trying to contain myself right now I'm trying to contain myself yeah my baby I'm so excited I'll talk to you all I'll update you all mm. all of that jazz when I get out of this appointment because I'm trying to remain calm and together in here you know but all right isn't that uh, I mean, I know y'all don't really know my journey pretty much with my first pregnancy, but I was high risk, extremely high risk with Zuri. And I was, I'm trying to compose myself because I don't want to start crying again. But when I was pregnant with Zuri, they kept saying that Zuri was growth restricted. And I delivered Zuri two weeks early due to induction. So I had an unmedicated induction. No meds to help the pain. I just allowed them to in induce me and my body worked well with the induction. Thank God. So with that being said, Zuri was born at five pounds, 10.5 ounces. And to hear that this this baby girl is already five pounds. It, it just sent me to an amazing place. That's all I could say. I, I mean, just hearing that, it just reassured me that I'm doing everything that I can possibly be doing to remain healthy for both baby and I. And that is just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm ecstatic. I am... I'm so happy. <laughs> so, yeah, she is five pounds already. Week 34. We're only in week 34, right? 
So that's pretty much what took place in week 34. I just was filled with so much joy, feeling so grateful, so blessed, you know, to go through this motherhood experience again, this pregnancy journey again, and it'd be totally different. It, it has definitely been different. And not only has it been different in, you know, ways of me being sick this time, but it's definitely, definitely paying off and it's worth every, everything that I've experienced in the beginning. So my 34 week uh, doctor's appointment was with my high risk doctor and he kicked me out again because this was the second time that he kicked me out. <laughs> but see, my doctor, my OBGYN, she wanted to continue, she wanted even though everything was looking good um when i would go visit my high-risk doctor my OBGYN primary doctor wanted me to continue to go at least for one more month so that she can know for sure that okay everything's going well the baby's going well that's definitely weight off our chest after that appointment the week following i had my 35th uh, doctor's appointment and this doctor's appointment was with my primary doctor and I told her I said look he kicked me out again he said everything is fine <laughs> she was like I know I read the notes and you know they communicate with each other so she already knew during week 35 I had another doctor's appointment as I mentioned and that appointment I picked up three more pounds a a picked up three more pounds a <laughs> So now I am 143. I am 143 pounds, which is amazing to know that I'm growing, baby's growing. We're both growing. We're growing together. And that is so, so amazing. So um, my doctor checked me out and she, you know, well, she felt my belly and felt the position of the baby, even though they, she already knew from the 3D ultrasound, she wanted to check herself. And she's like, yeah, baby's head down. And she's definitely still in position. She's been in position since about 20 weeks, honestly, been head down position. Um, but she said she feels like she's facing upward. So the movements are definitely stronger. I'm gonna feel like everything. Um, but we definitely want her to turn up, you know, turn around because that's the best, best position for uh, labor. So with her back facing my belly and her head being down, she's forward. Uh, if that makes sense so yeah so exciting this video is going to be another short simple and sweet one just wanted to catch you all up on what's been going on in my world thank you so much for watching subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all in my next one peace and light